painting the Horus Heresy. Not sure what number we're on, but this is where we're at. So I now have all of my infantry. That's 50 total. Uh, five of them are completely done, but the rest of them are base coated. The black is in the recess shades. The blue is on the shoulder pads and the backpacks. And I've also taken the opportunity to edge highlight the blue with two steps um, and get the metallic bits and the shading on the metallic bits. Uh, we did quite a bit and one big batch paint. And now I'd like to go and talk about my process for this. Now, when I'm doing um, a particularly tedious step, like the recess shading for the black, I will go ahead and break this into smaller chunks. In this case, I did 10. And I would do 10 of them, do all the recess shading, then jump to a different paint step and do that on all of them. And then I do another 10 with the recess shade and then do another paint step on all of them. And that's how I'm kind of able to help maintain momentum and uh, break up that tedium. So the other things I want to talk about are a little bit of organization. Here I have my project board, and this is just a uh, basic magnetic whiteboard uh, that I got from Amazon for like five bucks. And on the bottom of every one of my dudes, I do a glue a small cheap magnet to make them just stick to the board. It makes organization easy and it makes for easy transport. Really, it's a simple solution. It doesn't cost very much and it helps stay organized. So the last thing I want to talk about today is my secret weapon for edge highlighting and recess shading. And in fact, a lot of my detailing too. And it is this right here. This is a script liner. Uh, it's very specifically a 10 size, a size 10 slash zero script liner. And you'll hear painters frequently say that it's the tip of the brush that matters, not the brush itself. I disagree with this. Uh, script liners have nice big bellies uh, so they can hold a lot of paint and they're very, very good for shades in that regard, but they maintain that nice crisp fine point that will let you do the detail work. Uh, they're designed for doing lettering and script on larger paintings and they fulfill this job fantastically in miniatures painting. Uh, final update, this is going to be a longer vlog than normal. I noticed I had an assembly issue with my Terminators, so I'm putting them on the back burner while I get that fixed. Then I have to rip apart plastic that's been glued together, and that is always a right rotten pain. So, my next step is to go ahead and work on the edge highlighting for the white and to finish out the details, and then all my infantry will be done. And that's a 50-pack of Astarte's World Eaters. Whoo boy, that's a lot of work, but I am chugging along, guys. Catch you next time. Be good to each other. Keep painting minis. Peace out.